Ann, and welcome. I'm glad you were able to join us on your lunch hour to navigate through PowerPoint 2007 and the new world of Microsoft. Um, it's exciting to think about the power that flows from PowerPoint 2007 through the rest of the applications. The exciting piece here is that as we look at some of the features that are in PowerPoint, you'll have more capabilities of sharing that across the Office suite, including Word, Excel, and Access. So the portability of your graphics and your presentation will continue. Now again, as we're going forward here through 2007, um, we'd like you to, to take a look at the benefits of using our new interface. And again, the bold templates, the designer graphics, will make you feel like you have a consultant now on board within your PowerPoint application. The dynamic colors, the schemes, the themes have become something of a way of communication. Your communication improves. Your message will be more impactful, whether your audience is corporate, if it's Main Street, or if it's out in the public. You'll find power behind the graphics where, again, your communication becomes much more dynamic with the enhancements that have been, been brought into PowerPoint 2007. New themes and quick styles means you can work faster, more efficiently within the application and spend more time on making a more effective communication message. The new security features means you can make your presentation pop and come alive, but at the same time you can protect the images and the linked files that come from your charts and your file formats that are embedded or linked within your PowerPoint presentation. Again, 2007 and the new interface means that the back engine, what you're designing in PowerPoint, makes your files, again, that's an XML file format, but it's a smaller size. It means that you can apply larger graphics and use audio, use video, but your file sizes will become more compressed. That's an enhancement with the 2007 suite. And of course, with the power of that comes more customization. And again, the templates become more designer friendly. So again, it'll feel like you have another graphic designer sitting next to you within your office engine. Let's move ahead now into looking through the interface. Of course, a dramatic change. What has changed here is the look and the feel and the way that you interact with the software. Up in the left-hand corner, if you have your computer, play along with me. We have an Office button up at the top. Of course, just like Excel 2007 and the other applications, that replaces the file menu. That, of course, becomes opportunities for you not only to open and close, but that's a save and as well as a print function. We have some new buttons up there, including the prepare and the publish feature. If you haven't had a chance to take a peek at that, I encourage you to click on the Office button and take a look at that because, again, as you're looking at the Prepare option, we'll talk about later in our program some of the new ways that you can take your program and, again, mark it as final, secure it, and also spend some time making sure that the compatibility is there as you work between a new interface and perhaps some older versions. As you're going across the interface, and again, as you look at the screen, we have, again, a familiar interface where you can see your slide and your outline tabs on your left-hand side. As you're going down across the bottom of your screen, make sure you're clicking your mouse. I'm pointing here on the screen at, again, a line separator here between your slide outline and what becomes your notes panel. You can expand that and make it bigger. Of course, this becomes a notes pane that you can capture extra information. This is a quick tip for you as we're thinking about PowerPoint. Remember, your slides are not meant to be Word documents. Let's keep those bullets to a minimum, folks. We want to see less than five on the page. Anything extra, make that your comments. Let that fill in the space. Don't just read the slides to your audience. Again, just some speaker presentation tips. But of course, we recognize that what you see here in front of you, it's a slide. It's meant to communicate. And again, it's meant to send a message. Consider that people are not only looking at your screen, they may be looking at you, they're looking at your facial features, they're looking at nonverbal cues to get the message as well. Let these notes be extra information that you can talk to. Keep the text to a minimum, right? Just again, an extra tip there. As we're coming across the bottom here, my mouse is pointing, you can also look on the bottom, you'll see some quick shortcuts. Again, this new interface is meant to keep you right on the screen so you don't have to click around trying to change your views. 
You see those very small little Microsoft buttons. Those are view options to change, of course, to go into slideshow mode. And then next to it, you also have your slider button here. That's meant to change the display or the zoom on your screen. Again, a quick shortcut. Of course, you can find those options up on the biggest change for 2007. Up on top, that is your ribbon. And of course, the shortcuts you might see here on the bottoms in icon iconic form are also found somewhere here on our ribbon. The ribbon, of course, replaces our toolbars, our drop-down menus. Our ribbon becomes our dashboard, if you will. Let, we'll put on our hats in a minute and walk through the ribbon and our new terminology. But again, you should know that these are task-oriented. They're organized by tabs and groups. We'll look at that in a minute as we go forward. Now, again, let's keep, I keep going backwards, my apologies, but let's look at a new toolbar. While most of the toolbars have been eliminated, we do have one new one up at the top of your PowerPoint slide. If you take your mouse and you go up to the top, you'll see, again, it looks a little bit like a NASCAR car with those logos up there. You should recognize some of those. Those are shortcut icons. Again, those are commands that you'll find extra. It's up there again, by exception, and you can customize that quick access toolbar. That will remain up there while you're going through slide presentations and developing. It's meant to help you, and again, as you're navigating a new interface, it's not a bad idea to go ahead and put those up there. You can add any command up to that ribbon. The most frequently used are already up there for you. A check mark next to these commands, and again, my mouse is pointing to it. If you're playing along with me at your desk eating lunch, Go ahead and click on that Quick Access Toolbar, and in that lower right-hand corner, you'll find the small drop 